Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we got the Blades of Steel versus Crown Royals out of Richmond. With me as always, classic co-host, Sean Simonson. Hey, how's it going? I'm excited to check out these two teams, the Blades of Steel and the Crown Royals, and there they are, the Crown Royals, speaking of them, and they're uh, practicing their defensive skills, and it looks like, ooh, they got the offensive skills. Ooh, and there's the Blades of Steel wearing every single jersey known to man, Simonson. Right off the bat, I wish they all had matching jerseys, but uh, let's just get into it right there with the Crown Royals, and they can't clearly stand up. One too many Crown Royals, Simonson. Yeah, look at that, but yeah, I'd like to comment on the Blades of Steel, too, saying that they're not too sharp, they're looking dumb. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely looking dull. It must be all those mismatched jerseys there. And uh, I got to say, that was a nice save there uh, by Zag. He zagged right into that. Yeah, Zag run, and I'm going to try that. I'm sorry if it's wrong, but here's number 60 for the Crown Royals. Oh, passes over to his buddy, 43, and he finds a top shelf where he puts the puck. Oh, Simonson, Sim, Sam Smith there just sung, his, sung that puck into the back of the 60s era there and just uh, shelved it. Yeah, definitely. And Kevin G, he's the goalie for the Blades of Steel. And I'm liking that blocker, at least. It l reminds me of, like, retro-style stuff. Yeah, I really like that one, Simonson. Uh, nonetheless, Crown Royals are going to go up one nothing here. Let's get right back into it. Crown Royals in the Blades zone. Uh, has a shot. Nice glovey there by Kevin G. Yeah, okay, here we go. Blades of Steel make a dash off to number 94. He takes a shot. Nice zag save. Oh, nice zag save. Uh, there you go. Crown Royals in the Blades of Steel zone there. Um... Right behind that, right in front of the net. 88 has a spin and move shot there, and it just, that was so quick there. Mitch Copenhagen Smith was definitely enjoying Copenhagen. Look how fast this was here. Look, he just gets on his backhand and just spins around quickly. So it has a shot, and the puck just bounces out right away. Um, Lucky the referee seen that. Oh, that was beautiful. I like how he received it on his backhand and like Copenhagen taking a dip and putting it in the back of the net. That's right, Simon. That's exactly what he did there. Uh, there you go. Face-off win there by the Crown Royals there. Back in their own zone there. Uh, number 30 passes right out to number one wearing the goalie jersey, but a player skating like a uh, goalie. And a uh, uh, little mismatch of the puck there. Crown Royals going to pick it up. Number 30 has a shot and he scores, Simonson. Cameron Cuthbert put that one in the back of the net. Right behind Kevin G. Wow, that was all right. Okay, so check this out. So number 60 there, nice little toe drag of the interception there to take the puck away from the Blaze of Steel, get it to his buddy, number 30, whatever you call him. And look at him go with a shot, flex and a stick, back in the net, baby. Oh, he has flexy time there, Simonson. He flexed that stick, back in the net. Love it. Um, the LA Kings, or should I say the Crown Royals, are definitely dominating the start of this game, Simonson. It's 3 0 here. Um, we're going to just break right into it here. And there's uh, Blades of Steel. They're trying to flick it out. Number 44 playing basketball away. He intercepted that. Oh, definitely reaching up like LeBron James. Man. Here we go. Number 30, whatever his face is again. And then over to number 60 is to Copenhagen. Oh, no. That's Aaron Chin, Simonson. That was a little bit of suspect chin music right there, right in the back of the net. Oh, okay. I get it. So as we go back, the just sweet basketball moves. No goaltending on that one, protecting the hoop. And then he feeds it up to number 30. He receives it. A little bobbly. Gets his hand and mid on it. A little kick too like he's playing soccer. He's playing all the sports. He's an athletic individual. Check it out. He walks in and then he fakes the shot and gives it over to number 60. Knee down. Chin music, baby. Oh man. Their goalie just took that one on the chin there, Simonson. That was a beautiful goal. Um, man. Uh, Crown Royals are up 4 to nothing right now. Uh, Blades of Steel's got to get this game in motion, Simonson. And the uh, camera frame rate was off, and I just realized that, and it's fixed now, so the game's going to get a lot smoother. Uh, trials and Tribulations of Beer League Hockey, Simonson. I'll have four Crown Royals and uh, zero Blades of Steel. There we go. Uh, there we go. Number 55 in their zone there. He gives it right back to number 13. Has a shot, and ooh, it looked like it went in. And, uh, oh, man, Zag's going to want that one back. That wasn't too pretty. Look at the drop pass there by number 55. And uh, here's Levy with the little shot. It looked like it deflected off of a stick right there. Yeah, it did. And that's why uh, Zag should have zigged, but he didn't. He zigged when he should have zagged. Yeah, he sure did, Simonson. Um, he, he rolled up a couple uh, zigzags there and, and figured out his life. Uh, here we go. Blades of Steel there. Right on the right side. That's a shot. Oh, and they score. Back to back, Simonson. Victor Wong. That was a victory for Wong right there. Oh, yeah. Zag for sure has been rolling up with them zigzags because check it out. He couldn't even see that puck get past him. No, he definitely couldn't, Simonson. Uh, one more victory for Wong there. And the Blades of Steel are going to try and claw their way back 
4-2 there, making it a little bit closer of a game. Simonson plays in to go on here. Crown Worlds looked like he was going for a Michigan there. I don't know what he was doing, but it was a nice save nonetheless. No, no, coach. He was just trying to settle the puck. It was on end. That's what you do when you try to settle the puck if you have skills. Um, here we go. Number 19 for the Crown Royals over to number 80. He can't get it, but then who's that? Number 88 comes in and buries it. Oh, there's Copenhagen again with his tin ready to dip. Uh, and that's exactly what he does, Simonson. Look at that. The first one whiffs there. Puck gets right back to 88. Picks up the rebound and he shelves that. All the eights helping out. Look at that. He's like, hey, and I got two eights. You got one. I'm the guy. He's the guy, Simonson. He's literally the guy, and the guy scored. He he is the guy. Yeah, definitely. Check it out. Five to two for the Crown Royals over the Blades of Steel. Here we go. Crown Royals coming across the blue line. Dishes the puck off to the top of the circle. Shot, and it looked like a goal. Uh, that looked like a goal, Simonson. Um, I mean, that was so quick. I who scored that? Oh, number four there. Here we go. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Number four there. Tanner Lenting just lent someone money after he scored that, Simonson. Oh, that was beautiful. Like, you're not too bad, you know? And the, the humble Sally, you know, the casual, I'm the assistant captain. Just I'll get my props a little bit there, but right on. Let's uh, run away with it. Ah, uh, the old assistant captain Sally. I love that one, Simonson. 6-2 uh, Crown Royals there. There you go. Blades of Steel there. Fighting with the, uh, turns it over to the, uh, the Crown Royals. Has a shot. Nice save there. Yeah, Kevin G with a big save there. There, looking strong and he didn't fall for nothing. No, he definitely didn't fall for nothing, Simonson. He fell for everything. Uh, there you go. Crown Royals there. Number 44 completely whiffs there. Uh, one too many Crown Royals, Simonson. These guys got to sober up if they want to continue on this game. Well, I told you that, like, there, what is it, five Crown Royals are out or something? Yeah, yeah, five Crown Royals are out. They're getting heavy into it. Uh, there's number four again. Uh, this is off to 88 there. Back to number 60. Oh, good puck. We're going. It just squeaks in between Kevin G's pads there. Yeah, KG there. He had a rough go with that one. See, check it out. The puck, nice little pass to number 60. It was whiffed on his pass. He was trying to pass to his boy, and then he goes for a backhand and scoops it through. And that's why uh, old Kevin G couldn't uh, corral it or figure it out because it, nobody knew what was happening. Yeah, that wasn't high-quality stuff right there, Simonson. That was more uh, KG dinner right there. And you know what? Um... He's just going to eat it up anyways. Yeah. So 7-2 the score for the Crown Royals. So they lose it in the neutral zone. Blades of Steel pick it up, and it's turned around. Now Blades of Steel got it again, and they're trying to make some sloppy moves into the offensive zone. Oh, backhand dish pass to another guy, and then to number four on the point. Takes a shot. Nice save there by Zag, and then there's a goal scored after. Oh, Levy just came with the Levy and threw that one down heavy, Simonson. Let's look. Number four there has a shot, bouncing puck. It ricochets out, and there's Levy. He just comes in. Just, you see how he just swatted that? Like there's a fly in his house, and it just buzzed all the way to the back of the net there. Yeah, well, because it was kind of fluttering around, you know, and so it was, makes it difficult for a goaltender to just uh, get a uh, trapper on that one. Yeah, it sure does, Simonson. Uh, there you go. Crown Rolls has a shot. Uh, was, that, was that wide? I don't know what happened here. It looked like that was wide. Wide. Yeah, and then the Blades of Steel is going to pick it up there. Uh, here comes number 81, I think, on the right side. Oh, number five scores, Simonson. That was a nice play. Wow, that was nice. I've been waiting for to see some sharp action out of the Blades of Steel here soon. So you see that. The Crown Royals miss the net, and then like it's one of those plays where it goes in the corner, rings all the way around, now it's a breakout for the other team. That's the Blades of Steel. They get it in the neutral zone, making passes. We got uh, this one guy on the far wing there, and he passes across, and a beautiful play there to just pop that up over the goalie's pad. Yeah, Simonson, you think this is uh, Nintendo NES, how these guys are really rolling in with the Blades of Seals there. Um, love that game, love that goal, Simonson. That's pretty much what I want to say. 7-4 here. Uh, Crown Worlds are trying to get it out. Intercepted by the Blades of Steel there. Gives it right to his buddy, 94. 94 has a shot, and he scores, Simonson. Adam Shuck was no smuck with that goal. Wow, okay. That's so that, that was a poor giveaway by the Crown Royals there in their end because, like, obviously had too many, right? And then so the Blades of Steel, they catch it, intercept it, and then off to 94 there at the dot, and then he just picks that short side top corner and gets it past the old Zagaruni. Yeah, Zagaruni couldn't handle that from Shuck Simonson. Ah, oh, Shucks, he's saying right now is that going in. 7-5 uh, there. The uh, Blades of Steel are battling back, Simonson. I really like to see this here. Making it a little bit closer for game. And now, oh, what a save there by Kevin G. That was a save. Like you were saying, they're coming back. It's like they whipped out the game genie. Oh, man, looking like a real G there with that save. And he's definitely wearing the power glove, Simonson, for sure. He definitely whipped that thing out. Um, oh, and, and another save here by, um, by uh, 
Kevin G? Yeah, Kevin G. Oh, look at him sprawl around. Speaking of that, oh, and another save. Look at this, the number 88. That's a Copenhagen fella. fella. He can't score. Uh, it's probably because he's out of Copenhagen, Simon. So he's Jones right now. He just needs to get his fix. Yeah, you can see him there just battling. Nice saves there by... Um, by uh, G there, uh, man, he's, he's playing solid right now, Simonson. They're really hungry, they want this one back there. Um, and yeah, there's a, another save there, he's standing tall. Yeah, definitely, like, like he was floundering there, but making sure he was covering all that net. He didn't take his eye off the prize. Here we go, with some more action. Oh, Blades of Steel makes a move around a Crown Royal, but he can't get it. Oh, it did cross the line, I think. We're gonna have to run it back. Yeah, we're gonna have to run this one back, Simonson. I didn't quite see it there. Uh, but it is a goal, I think. Oh no, the ref's calling it no goal, Simonson. Uh, I don't even think the ref's seen it. Yeah, okay, so check out the slick move by the Blades of Steel player. And that is just beautiful. Goes in, and then it's going, it's trickling, and it's all the way across. I seen it all the way across the line. I seen the white. Yeah, let's, let's have a look here, Simonson. Let's stop this if we can. Uh, right there. Yeah, the puck is all the way across. Even though it's not flat on the ice, it's still over the line. If it was flat on the ice, it still would be all, you can see it. You know the rules, boys and girls. If you can see the white between the puck and the the red line it's a goal oh man that that's that's too bad for the blades of steel there the ref's gonna wave that off and uh i mean i mean it would have been a one goal game but you can see the ref if you're a lip reader i think he's saying i didn't see it <laughs> yeah yeah and i wouldn't be surprised but anyways here we go back to the action blades of steel number 94 goes in trying to move his putt buddy just tried and it didn't work out there because uh zag stopped him yeah, Zag stopped him there, and Blaze of Steel again has a shot from the point there. Oh, number 81 scores! Picks up the trash, Simonson. He's working overtime, and Victor Wong just got another victory for the boys. Oh, definitely. Check that out. So just a nice shot, nice low. Makes the goalie have to bobble a rebound, and then you just got to get in there, and like you said, pick up the trash. Yeah, that's exactly what he did, Simonson. He was working for Rempel there, and he picked up the trash. Um, and man... That's going to bring the Blades of Steel within one, seven, six, making it a game here, Simonson. I'm on the edge of my seat here. There you go. Blades of Steel, number 94, goes in, cuts quad. Nice save there by uh, Zag. Yeah, Zag, gave, nice save when uh, uh, clutch times. Oh, here we go. Getting rough and physical down in the corner. Oh, it looks like there's a penalty on the play here. Um, let's see. So I think it's probably going to be a roughing or a boarding call on uh, somebody because I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I think that's number 43 there. I think he gave him a cross check from behind. Um, he's going to argue it, but the ref's right there, and he did see that. He didn't see the goal, Simonson, but he's seen the penalty. Um, that's how it works usually, though. Oh, and the uh, Crown Royals come back with a shot from behind there. Yeah, that one definitely I could see you maybe calling. The other one, not so much, but... Yeah, you're going to have to go and just chill out for two minutes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when the game gets intense like this, Simonson, emotions run high, and it actually it starts to turn into a game, right? It's, it's not figure skating. I, I say that all the time. It's hockey. Um, and you got to let some stuff go. Uh, anyways, there's a Turtles player playing on the Blades of Steels. Um, but in the blade, oh, number 91 just did a full 360 giveaway pass there, Simonson. Okay, so here we go. Action's going back the other way. Oh, it's throwing up to the neutral zone to number 60. It's coming in. Oh, he's trying to ball with the puck, and then he passes to 30. He shoots, and he scores. Oh, Cameron Cuthbert gets another one tonight, Simonson. That was an all-around beautiful play there, and I love the Selly. There you go, number 60 there. So, oh, misses the first one, then gets it on his back and regains it. Number 30 just come there with style and finesse, and look how he's put that puck in the back of the net. So stylish, Simonson. The best way to do that is with misdirection. And when you don't even know what you're doing with the puck, nobody knows. That's right, Simonson. And uh, the player who got the assist there didn't know, but the goal scorer, goal scorer definitely knew. And 8-6 there for the Crown Royals here. Uh, there you go. Blades of Steel there. And what happened here? It looks like uh, Crown Royals. They're definitely tipsy, Simonson. Oh, definitely tipsy. Like a little bit of sauce going around here and knocks them over. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a two six right there, Simonson down the hatch. Um, Blades of Steel there, goalie uh, tries to clear it out. Crown Royals intercepts it there, keeps it in their zone there, um, gives it right to the front of the net there. Oh, and number sixty scores, Simonson. Cameron Cuthbert gets another one there. That was all hard work and determination which made that goal happen. Let's have another look at this. The goalie tried to get it out. I don't know if that was high sticking. It was right on the edge there. But, uh, I mean, if the ref didn't call it, you got to play the whistle, right? And then there's number 60. And look, he stays there. He doesn't move. Look at the patience that he waited there. And all that hard work and determination to get his own rebound and put that puck in the back of the net, Simonson. Oh, he pounded that down, Crown Royal style. But yeah, no, that was a good save by a Kevin G there at first. But, I mean, they, they were relentless. And, like, 
But you got to give it to the Crown Royals for knocking that out of the air. Yeah, you definitely do, Simonson. Uh, there's a Blades of Steel there, getting it back to his buddy number 13 in the Islanders jersey there. Um, gives it right back to his buddy in the actual jersey. Right back to the Islanders jersey. Has a shot and he scores, Simonson! He may not be wearing the right colors, but he's doing the right things. So there you go. Check it out. From the corner to the point, uh, number 13. Takes a shot and he just catches that inside the post, just past the block, or sorry, the glove there. Well, and also, that's not an Islanders jersey. It seems to be a different type of jersey. Uh, oh, I guess it is the Lulu Islanders, Simonson. There you have it. Wolanski from the Lulu Islanders just comes closer to making it a game. And there you go. Blades of Steel goes crashing into the net there. Um, Zag couldn't zig fast enough. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, yeah, the net's off its moorings, and here we go. So check it out. He's trying to, or yeah. Just nice save, and he goes back into the net, knocks it off himself. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened, Simonson. Um, and, uh, oh, they're going to get a penalty shot from that. All right, here we go. Uh, Blades of Steel at number 55, makes a couple moves. Oh, a nice save there by Zag. That was a nice save. I'm a little bit confused on why we had a penalty shot, but nonetheless, it's exciting to see one. And that was a nice save. He committed to keeping his pad flat along the ice the whole way, and he went to his backhand, and he couldn't get it up high enough. Yeah, that was strong form, Simonson. And the Crown Royals are going to take this one. Um, that was a good game, Simonson. I really enjoyed it. I kind of feel like a Crown Royal after that one. Oh, I like a good Crown Royal on the rocks. 